Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video lecture, we will cover a new chapter of chemistry that is amines. So let's begin with the chapter. First of all, amines are regarded as derivatives of ammonia in which two or all three hydrogen atoms are replaced by alkyl or aryl group. Alkyl or aryl group, alkyl are the one with alkanes, haloalkanes like that and aryl are the benzene ones. Then there are two, three types of classification, primary amine, secondary amine and tertiary amine. We can prepare an amine by many types. First is the by reduction of nitro compounds like RNO2 plus 3H2O in the presence of nickel and uh, divided by platinum or pla palladium gives RNH2O plus release hydrogen water. Here R can be alkyl, allyl, any group. Then second by Hoffman method that is ammonolysis of alkyl halides. In this uh, primary alkyl is converted primary alkyl is converted to ter secondary then tertiary and then quaternary ammonium salt and then it is reacted with tertiary amine and a haloalkane then it gives primary amine. The order of reactivity of hal halides is RRI, RBR and then RCL. The larger the size of halogen atom, easier is the cleavage of Rx bond. The, the limitation of this method is that this method gives mixture of amines which are difficult to separate in lab. Methods to get only one product by this method that ammonium is taken in excess primary amine is formed as the main product then when alkyl halide is used in excess quaternary ammonium salt then the salt is the main product then the third is by reduction of nitrites then we can also use gabriel pethylamide synthesis it is used for preparation of primary amines when pethylamide is treated with ethanolic alcoholic potassium hydroxide koh it forms potassium salt of pethylamide which on heating further with alkyl halide followed by alkaline hydrolysis produces the corresponding primary amine. By Hoffman bromide, bromide degradation reaction that is HBD reaction. Primary amine can be prepared from amides by treatment with bromine and KOH. It contains one carbon atom less than the parent amide. Physical properties lower aliphatic amine is soluble in water because they have can form hydrogen bonding with water then solubility decreases with increase in molar mass of amines due to increase in size of hydrophobic group. Then among the isomeric amines, primary and secondary amines have high boiling point because they can form hydrogen bonding. Tertiary cannot form hydrogen bonding due to the absence of hydrogen atom. Amines have an unshared pairs of electron due to which they behave as Lewis space. When greater the Kb value or smaller Pkb indicates base is strong. Comparison of basic strength of aliphatic amines and ammonia. Aliphatics are stronger bases than ammonium due to plus I effect of alkyl groups leading to high electron density. In comparison of basic strength of primary, secondary and tertiary amine. Then the order of basicity of amines in the gaseous phase followed by the expected order on the basis of plus I effect that is tertiary, secondary then primary then quaternary. Then the steric factor, comparison of basic strength of aryl amines and alkyl amines. Then this is the resonance. The effect of substituent on basic characters of amine. EWG or EDG or ERG groups increase uh, basic strength while EWG decreases basic strength. Acylation reaction. Aliphatic and aromatic primary and secondary amines react with acid chlorides, then anhydrides and esters to form substituted amine. This process of introducing an acyl group into the molecule is called as acylation. 
this is the reaction since tertiary amine do not contain replaceable hydrogen atoms it do not go undergo this acylation acylation reaction then comes the carbonyl amine reaction only aliphatic and aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide form isocyanides or carbonyl amines then secondary and tertiary amines do not give the above test the the reaction of primary amine with nitrous acid primary aliphatic amine on reaction with hno2 forms aliphatic diazonium salt which decomposes to form alcohol and evolves nitrogen then primary aromatic amine reacts with hno2 in cold to form diazonium salt this is benzodiazonium chloride this is the whole reaction then reaction with benzene sulfonyl chloride hinzebach reagent that is benzyl benzene sulfonyl chloride c6h5so2cl2 react with primary chlor primary and secondary amine to form sulfoamides in this the hydrogen attached to nitrogen in sulfoamide formed by primary amine is strongly acidic due to the presence of strong electron withdrawing sulfonyl group hence it is soluble in alkyl then aniline is more reactive than benzene and undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction preferably at ortho and para situation then bromination aniline reacts with bromine water at room temperature to give white precipitate of 246 tribromo aniline this is in the chapter halo oh, sorry alcohol phenol and ester then nitration sulfonation Then the reaction of benzene diazonium chloride. These are the reactions given in NCERT two. And this is a reaction that is called azo di reactions. Diazonium ion acts as an electrophile because uh, there is a positive charge on terminal nitrogen. Therefore, benzene diazonium chloride couples with the uh, electron rich compounds like phenol and aniline to give azo compounds. azo compounds contain n double bond n and reaction is called as coupling reaction or azo di azo di reaction so this much for today's video hope you liked it and understood it well this is the whole summary of the chapter please go through the video thank you